what is up nerds this is Frazier boy if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel if you're a subscriber welcome back welcome to my series on my channel called are you fucking with it and today we will be talking about the evil within and i want to know are you guys fucking with it are you going to go get in that midnight release line are you going to buy this game why are you not fucking with it why are you fucking with it it's my way of interacting with myself about gaming on this channel like i say all the time we keep it gaming Right now, for me, I'm really not knowing if I'm going to pick up the Evil Within. First off, let's just break down what this game really is. The people who made Resident Evil is making the Evil Within. So if you're a big Resident Evil fan, this is your time to get like a next-gen feel for like a Resident Evil game because it's, it's kind of basically the same thing. Basically, what, what happens is a guy, a detective, goes to this like big, maze house or whatever like that and it's like all the police out out of the maze like all right let me start off this detective go to this big maze house right he get calls in on a call about it's like a uh shooting or some crazy shit going on so this main detective go to the, the house when he get there the police cars are outside but everybody's like missing he goes inside get hit across the head wakes up and from that point on you the you are playing as the detective you got to find your way out of this house and the maze is some crazy gruesome scary shit it, it kind of looks like one of those pc like third person scary games but it's made from the people from resident evil um the only my only issue with this game and, and it's not really a big issue is it's 60 dollars, and that's not it's it's really not a bad problem when i buy games now I, what the fuck is that? When I buy games now, I look into the replay value value of the game. Like, is it worth sixty dollars? Like, once I beat this game, look, let's see, games nowadays last what eight to twelve hours. Um, single player, probably not even that long. You pay sixty some dollars for this game, and then after you play it for a day, that's it. You try to take it back to a GameStop, what they gonna give you like? 30 20 dollars for it after like a few days like depending on the people at gamestop so it's like is it worth the replay value me i'm thinking about getting like a game fly or renting from Redbox or something like that I, I don't see the point of getting it beating it and then just collecting dust after that i'd rather put my money towards something else than getting that my problem with it with these like single player games that have no absolute no multiplayer no replay value is i don't think they should be that much i think they should be like 40 dollars so as of right now i'm not fucking with it i might go to gamestop tuesday afternoon before or after work and see if i want to pick it up I'm, right, I'm not really sure but it does look pretty good if i do get it i will get it for the playstation 4 the graphics look amazing uh, it's going to be like a lot of puzzles and mines and like little tricky shit you got to do to move forward it's like a wave of horde of zombies in its own little way um it's a lot of so I'm, I'm gonna leave a very informational link in the description if you want to know more about this game but right now fraser boy is not fucking with it let me know in the comment section below are you guys fucking with it do you agree agree with me with these single player games that have no replay value do you think they should be sixty dollars or should they drop those down to forty dollars that's just me but let me know in the comment section what you guys think i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment and until next time keep it gaming